All right, so today I'm gonna to do a simple tool animation for an R6. We don't do a lot of R6, so you can go ahead and click, boom, and hit things with it, brah. And we can run with it, there we go. And I am gonna put all of my new animation, accessories, and tool stuff right here in this playlist. I'll put it in the description, that way you can look and say, hey, I don't need that, I need like how to do the the tool grip or something. I only have one in there now. But I'm gonna try and keep these all pretty short so they're easy to follow along. Let's go ahead and get started with our R6 tool swing animation. I got a fresh world right here and I wanna do an R6 animation for players that are holding my weapon. So I need this game to have R6 avatars. Let's go to the home tab, make sure that's selected. Go to game settings. We need to save our game first. Let's do that. Let's call this, oh, for the sake of the video, we'll say swing R6, maybe anim, so I don't get confused. I'm gonna turn cre team create off, and then I'm gonna hit save, sweet, close that. Now, go back to game settings. We're gonna go to avatar, and we want uh, players with six body parts. So we're gonna use R6, right? That's what R6 and R15 mean, if you're not sure. Six body parts as opposed to 15 body parts. All right, we're gonna hit save. Cool, and it gives you a warning. It's gonna shut down servers if you do this, and there's a, there's a live server running, but we don't have that. We're just creating, right? We're just starting out. All right, now I wanna get my, I wanna get my tool from my grip video. It's basically just a pipe with a grip adjusted. I will put a link in the description for it if you want this one, or you could use your own stick with the grip adjusted, right? So I'll put this link in there. You go ahead and click on it. It'll open up this web page. This will say get model, something similar to that. You press it, then you can go to your toolbox and you'll see under the inventory pipe. Boom. Uh, let's not put it in the starter pack yet. Let's say no. All right, I wanna get my, um, I wanna get a rig out here because I'm gonna do an animation, right? So let's go to our avatar, rig builder. Well, we're doing R6, right? R6. And then we're gonna mesh avatar. I like that one. He's got cool hair. Bruh. All right, now we're gonna get the pipe, put it in the rig. And watch what happens because the grip is adjusted, right? So it's a pipe, rig, boom. He's holding it. That's pretty cool, right? Nice. All right, let's open the animation editor. So I'll hit animation editor. There we go. We're gonna select the rig. It says so right here. Select rig to animate. Boom, cool. And we'll give it a name. We'll call it something like swing R6 anim. And go ahead and create. And right here, under these three dots. Let me move this up a little bit so you can see a little more. These three dots, we have something, it says set animation priority. Each one of these priorities is more important than the previous one. So idle will override core if there's a conflict. And then movement overrides idle, action overrides movement. This is the one we want because we might be running or jumping and we still wanna swing. So we need action to overtake movement. Boom, action is selected. And there's several level of actions too, but the first one's sufficient for us. Let's hit these three dots now, hit save, and you'll notice in your rig, we have anim saves. This is gonna be all the keyframes for our swing R6 animation. In case you wanna go in later and, uh, and adjust it. Or if you wanna publish your pipe and then other people, you want other people to be able to use your animation, you should put the anim saves in so they could save it off under the, their own account and get their own IDs so it works in their games. All right, so now we have this guy, right? We can click here. We have, this is our timeline. It is in seconds frames. I do that in case it's a longer animation than one second. If you wanna change you, uh, timeline units, you could do just frames, right? It doesn't look that much different. Cool. Now I have this set to frame rate, 30 frames per second. I believe that's a default. That's all you need. 
That's all I need. You might need more. All right, now what are we going to do? Uh, this is our scrubber bar. So wherever this blue bar is, and if I adjust something, we're going to get a keyframe that's going to be placed right at that blue bar. We're going to pick up our stick, getting ready to hit somebody with it. So we go real, real big. Boom, let's go real big. All right, now let's go to the fifth frame. And that's where we're going to do the drop. Whack. Now, we can't do a whole lot of fancy movement with our six because we only have six body parts. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get a little closer to the center, though, eh? Boom. There we go. Let's try it. Let's hit the play. Whap. Whap. Cool. That's pretty good. I think I'm going to save this. Hit the three dots. Save it again. It's going to update that R6 under the ANM saves. Hit the three dots, and we are going to publish to Roblox. All right, there you go. You got your swing R6 and M. You're going to submit, get this ID, get those two boxes, ID copy, close. We're going to go back to our pipe, open it up, hit the plus. We are going to add an animation. If you don't have that showing under frequently used, a and I, ah, oh, there it is, animation, right? Make Get the one with the N, animation. Now, I am going to paste that ID in this animation ID before I do anything else so I don't lose it. Control V, bruh, and you get the Roblox asset ID stuff prepended automatically. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to change the name of this. Uh, let's call it like a swing. R6. And I want to make this pipe. In the next video, I want to determine whether it's an R6 or an R15. So that's why I'm going to have both animations there. That's why I'm calling this an R6. Cool. Now we can close this. We could go back to our pipe. Let's add a script and get that tool working. Hit the plus. We're going to add a local script. It's not going to be for the rig. It's going to be for players. So you want the mouse click to make it swing. We're going to need a local script for that to capture the mouse events. All right, I'm going to call this, uh, I'll just call it swing, right? That's a script. That's an animation. We should be fine. All right, let's get a few variables for our script. And I'm going to get one for the tool itself. I'll just call it tool. You call it pipe. You just got to remember what you called it. So local tool equals script dot parent, right? Swing is the script. Parent is the tool. And we're also going to need the character. I'll call that char. You might be tempted to do tool dot parent. But if it's in the backpack or something else, you might you might have problems with that. So I'm just going to make this nil for now. I'm also going to get a variable for the connection. I'll just call that C-O-N-N. -O -O -N, and that's going to be for my activate connection. And then I'll deactivate the connection when I unequip. That way the tool doesn't swing when I'm clicking and or my arm doesn't swing when I'm clicking and I'm no longer holding the tool. Let's make that nil. So we'll get the tool and then we have an equipped event that we are going to connect to a function. We'll make it anonymous. And here is where I'm going to get my char. And then I'll do the tool.parent. And then let's print it out. Char equals. So that's your player's character. Player's character is the same as your player's name. The player's the character name is the same as your player's name. All right. And also we can unequip, right? So we'll say tool dot unequipped with an ed i always forget that connect function and now what i'll do is i'll just make the char nil again let's go ahead and try this out and we should see the printout of our name when we pick up the tool so let's get our pipe we're gonna drag it out of the rig it's in the rig let's put it in the workspace so we have to pick it up if we look here our six see it's gonna be it's gonna be out there it's gonna fall to the ground we'll hit the play Let's go to view output so we can see the output window. And this is some Roblox update stuff. So don't worry about that. You can't fix that, that core GUI. 
that's just a nice Roblox update. Let's make it a little bigger though so we can see. And I'll clean that. Pick up our tool. Ah, oh, look at that. Char Simtech Gamer 7. If we put the pipe away and we pick it up, boom, you see it, it printed again. You have times two. All right, let's move on with our script. Let's go to a swing. Let's turn our game off. Let's go ahead and shut our output window. Oh man, I lost the swing. Let's go to swing. And we need to activate the tool when we click. So right after we do our print statement in the equipped, let's go ahead and get our connection. And we're gonna do the tool.activated event connect that to an anonymous function. And I'll just do a print statement for now. Print, swing. So when we click, we're gonna do this print statement for the swing, but we're catching our activated event, connecting it to that function. We are using this variable here to disconnect when we unequip, right? Disconnect. Cool. Let's go ahead and play it and see what happens. So we're going to go to view, we're going to go output. And this is Roblox stuff again. That's fine. Let's clear it. And we'll pick up our tool. Cool. Char, SimTech Gamer 7. When we click it, oh, look at that. Swing, swing, swing. So we have three swings. One thing I want to show you. If we die, we don't uh, unequip tools by default. I usually do that in the game manager. I get the died event of the players, humanoid dot died, and then I unequip all tools when they die. But if we go ahead and do a demo of what would happen if we didn't do that, we'll do a reset char, go down here, reset, and now I'm clicking. Notice the swing is going up down here, right? Until we respawn. Now it's not going to. But I thought you should know that I'm going to do a video on clean up like that, but don't do that in the tool or you don't need to do it in the tool. I would do that in the game manager where you have control over all of the players. Now you just have to do it once. You don't have to do it in every tool. Now let's go ahead and turn this off. Let's get our animation hooked up to the tool so we can actually see the swing. So we're gonna need a few more variables. All right, under connection, I'm gonna add one. For the humanoid, local, hum equals, I'll just do nil for now. I'm going to get another variable for the swing anim r6. And I know I named that a little bit different than what I have in the tool. So we'll do a script dot parent, or we can just do tool, right? Tool, wait for child, what do I call that? Swing r6. Let's just make sure that that's right. Pipe, swing R6. We want the animation. There we go. All right, now let's go down to our equipped. And in here, under where I get the char, I'm going to go ahead and get my humanoid. Humanoid equals char. Wait for child. Humanoid. And I want to get the animator for the humanoid. Local animator. Hume, wait for child. Whoops, let's do a parentheses. Animator. Then I'm going to get the track when I load the animation into the animator. Local. Track equals animator. Load animation. Let's see if I spelt that right. I think I did. I will get our swing anim r6 now instead of this print let's just go ahead and do track colon play all right down here what do you want to do we can perhaps clear out the humanoid right here nil i guess i didn't need to make that global well global to the script uh track you could clean out your track I think Roblox cleans them out. I've done some experiments with it, but if not, I think our disconnect should be fine. Let's go ahead and play it and see if we can swing our tool. And then we're going to try it from the backpack too, just to make sure there's no errors. So we'll go to view, go to output. Ah, oh, we got those goofy Roblox warnings. 
cool. Oh yeah, look at that. Boom, boom, bra. All right, if it's in the backpack, what happens? The starter pack. Just make sure, you should always check both because the starter pack is a little different. We'll get the pipe. We're gonna go down to the starter pack. Sweet. We're gonna play the game. Now you'll notice, notice if it's in the starter pack, we don't have any errors. If you look at your character in the workspace, Simtech Gamer 7, you don't see the tool. All right, so the starter pack is in the players, player service, right? The player service backpack right here. When you click on this button, it is transferred to your character. There's the pipe. And we don't see any errors. Everything's looking clean. Well, you should be aware of that because sometimes people make assumptions about uh, the tool, where it's at, and how it's associated with the character, but it's in the backpack, which is in the player, and you can get an error. So something to try out. One more thing you want to try out. You can swing when you're holding the tool, put the tool in the backpack, make sure you can't swing. All right, make sure that connection is disconnected. I will see you in the next video.